Hi, it's Charlie with Boxing Focus. Uh, an instant reaction to a few, well, not quite so instant for some fights, but the Garcia Herrera fight is just finishing up now. I'm going to mute it. Um, Garcia's looked terrible uh, by his standards. He's been really, really poor. Oof, nice exchange as the, the fight finishes. Um, yeah, I mean, Herrera's getting robbed here. I think there's open scoring. There's been, been a few comments on that. I think uh, Herrera's basically... He, he's taken Garcia out of his groove. He's he's moved constantly all night. He's never been a stationary target. He's throwing punches from odd angles. Garcia's not really adjusted to it. He's not, not showing particularly good movement himself. He's, he's, he's been straight up. Uh, the punches have been coming up and catching him. But the crowd's been roaring him on. The, uh, the commentators are... Well, on the feed I'm, I'm watching, the commentator kept saying how well Garcia was doing when he was missing with the vast majority of his punches. It was very, very inaccurate tonight. Which you, you have to you have to um, credit Herrera for for the way he was moving. It was, it was pretty... It was, I mean... Very awkward fighter, Herrera. Say impressive performance. It was wasn't impressive, but it's he's definitely definitely um, done done uh, Danny Garcia tonight on on any impartial scorecard. You know, Danny Garcia was hit an awful lot, and his face was bleeding. He, he looks swollen. Herrera looks like he's barely been touched. Um, but you know, with the crowd. And the hometown advantage and all that nonsense. It's going to go Garcia's way. We'll see in a moment. Now, before this fight, I expected Danny Garcia to win. Uh, Danny Garcia is a very good technical fighter. He looks a lot bigger than Herrera. I thought that would that would uh, work in his favour. It seems to have worked against him because he just Herrera was ducking and, and weaving all night, very low and and. Garcia just couldn't seem to connect with his big shots. Um, there was one sequence in the 11th round, and the commentators were saying, yeah, good shot there, good shot there. They were all missing. They were all missing. Um, but, you know, that's you know what people see and what reality is. It can be two different things. Uh, unfortunately, it seems the judges will have felt that way as well, because uh, they've got this open scoring system, and yeah, I thought, I thought Garcia's best round was the first, basically. And from there on in, it was kind of downhill. There was just several, well, there was a lot of close rounds. Um, but that's the way boxing works these days. So, yeah, I expected Garcia to win that one fairly comfortably. Um, but I think Herrera deserves that and, and won't get it. Uh, a couple of other, a couple of other fights. Obviously, Wilder knocks out Malik Scott. Some people saying it was a fix. It's not a fix. Malik Scott's just crap. Um, I thought it was a high job going into the Chisora fight, looking at his record and his previous fights. I thought uh, it was still a high job. People are saying that, you know, there were some people still who thought he might test Wilder. I, I thought he was going to go down the first time he got hit or be hurt anyway. Um, I didn't think he was going to get stopped the first time he was punched, but. He was in terrible condition. You could see he looked. He didn't look like he'd trained properly for that fight. Um, looks like unanimous decision going here to Danny Garcia. That's terrible. Um, I didn't hear the scores. I suspect that they were quite wide. Talking one one six, one one two. Garcia, Garcia's. Uh, Benefited from promotional and locality factors, and it's it's just the way boxing is. It's a bit sad, really. Anyhow, so yeah, expected Wilder to knock out Scott given the condition. Scott turned up in coming in at 2:38 the way in, career heaviest, I believe. Uh, it's a bit, a bit sad that for his hardest ever fight, 
it doesn't train properly or doesn't take it seriously. I don't know. And he turns up to the wedding with a paper bag on his head. So foolish and, and was made to look a fool. Um, I don't think it was even that bad, you know, that powerful a punch. I mean, they took, they make out how that Wilder has got dynamite in his hands and could punch through brick walls, but I just don't think Scott was in good condition and he wasn't warmed up. You know, when you're not in good condition, you don't warm up because you want, you know, Scott needed to take Wilder late into that fight to stand a chance. Um, probably don't want to waste too much energy <laughs> in the dressing room, so. Yeah, it's pretty poor. Pretty poor. Um, and before that, Wamma knocks out Ponce de Leon, and that was a surprise. I I mean, I didn't make prediction videos, to, um, but I would have expected Ponce de Leon to take Wamma to deep water and probably knock him out late on. Um, I know that Wamma knocked him out in one round. You know, when they first met. You know, it's a different one man. It's different Ponce de Leon. He was probably a little bit in awe of one man, Juan Lopez, who hadn't been knocked out by that point. He was knocking everybody out. Instead, uh, you know, they meet a few years later. Lopez is big. You know, he's on the slide. He's on the slide badly. Um, Ponce de Leon has, uh, has done well since then. He's, he's done very, very well. Just expected him to have a little bit too much for, for Wamma. Um, and I've seen the highlights, they're on YouTube uh, on Show Sports' channel. Terrible stoppage. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's like all you have to do in boxing these days when somebody's hurt is flurry. You know, just throw 10 or so punches. And if the, you know, if the punch doesn't come back, the referee jumps in. It's absolutely ridiculous. You, know, you have somebody like Angulo getting brain damage versus Canelo, and people are up in arms that that gets stopped. What about this? I mean, this. All right, he goes down hard from a right hook, having put Wemma down prior to that. But nothing's landing clean, really. Um, a couple of shots get in. It's yeah. So uh, unfortunately, we've seen really seen three bad sides of boxing in these three fights you know, the, the robbery against Garcia I mean it was a robbery Herrera deserved that decision if you, if you look at who made who miss and who was landing the clean shots you could only score that fight for Herrera and you get Wilder against another I mean well at least what, you know, at least Scott has you know, had a bit of hype around him but just hadn't trained properly and Wilder just walks through him and then, then you have this terrible stoppage that robs Ponce de Leon of the chance to get his revenge over Wamba. Um, yeah, that's the way it is. Or oh, they catch rid of Chilemba versus. Um, I forget his name now. Russian guy with blonde hair who basically defends with his face. <laughs> Chilemba, Chilemba looks like he's got skills but just misses. A little bit of extra spark that he could really capitalise on, on, on his slickness. Anyway, that's it for tonight. This is Charlie with Boxing Focus. I'm quite tired. Good night. <laughs>